Hi, Chuck Hawley from West Marine. One of the most essential pieces of gear to have on your boat is a VHF radio. With a VHF radio, you can call the Coast Guard, you can call bridges and lock tenders, you can call other vessels, or you can actually use modern VHF radios, sort of like a coastal EPIRB, to send out an emergency message that can be heard by other boaters. But there are a whole lot of VHF radios on the marketplace, so how do you find the one that's right for your boat and your type of boating? In the following video, we'd like to explain some differences between radios to allow you to make the very best choice. The first decision to make is whether you want a handheld or a fixed mount VHF radio. Handhelds have a number of advantages. For one, they have a self-contained battery pack and a self-contained antenna, so they operate independent of the vessel systems. There may be times on board your boat where the battery's dead or possibly the normal antenna gets broken and a handheld will work under those conditions. Now the disadvantages of a handheld are that the battery will last for somewhere between 8 and 12, maybe as much as 15 hours. So you have a limited battery life as you do with any rechargeable device. And because the antenna is short and relatively low on the boat, you can't transmit as far. In normal conditions, you can expect two or three miles of transmission range to another vessel. If you're actually communicating with the Coast Guard, which has antennas that are tall on, on high mountains, you might be able to get 10 or 15 miles with a handheld radio. Handheld VHF radios are limited to six watts transmit power. Most of them have five watts. Occasionally, models have six watts. It doesn't actually make a lot of difference in the total range of the radio. And all VHF radios will have the ability to switch it to one watt power. With one watt power, it extends the battery life and it actually reduces your range. And the reason for doing that is so that because you're using a very few frequencies with a lot of different boaters, you want to limit your range so that you don't step on other people's communications. A feature that's relatively new with handheld radios is the ability to float. For many years, manufacturers have made very waterproof handhelds that when you drop them in the water up to about three or four foot of depth, you can pull them out, shake them, and they work just fine. But now, radios like some of these standard horizon radios are actually so light and buoyant enough that if you drop them in the water, they float. And in this case, there's actually some um, luminescent material on it so that you can see it when it's in the water. ICOM recently introduced this little M24. It's a very compact radio, but it also floats. And they've done this by using really modern battery technology, very light materials, and they've cut down the size so it fits really well in your hand. So in order to float, a radio doesn't have to be a full-size radio. For the ultimate and compact radios, non-floating radios may be a better choice. This is the ICOM M72. This has been around for a couple of years and it has been an extremely good seller at West Marine. It has a very long battery life, six watts of power, and one nice feature is that it has aqua quake, where if you drop it in the water and bring it out, you can push two buttons and it forces the water out of the speaker grill so that uh, you have good audio quality uh, soon after you bring it out of the water. So the ICOM M72 has been a very popular radio, very compact, and very rugged. For the ultimate in portable marine electronics, you might want to consider the Standard Horizon HX851. This not only has a floating waterproof VHF, but it also includes a GPS inside. So the advantage here is that because it knows your position and it has a GPS, you can actually send distress calls that automatically send a digitally encoded latitude and longitude. That's what this little red flap on the side is for. You flip it up hold it for a couple of seconds, and it will transmit a Mayday call that's picked up by the Coast Guard. So the HX851 has that feature all in one package, and it turns out it's not that much more expensive than conventional VHF radios.